Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. I am presenting to you a topic in Form 1 Biology and the topic is Cell Physiology as indicated here. Uh, first of all, I would want us to go through the objectives of this topic. So we look at chapter objectives. The first one, we need to understand what is cell physiology. So we need to understand the meaning of cell physiology. Number two, we should also be in a position to relate the cell physiology and the structure of the cell membrane. So the other objective is to be able to relate uh, the process with the semi-permeability of cell membrane. Uh, number three, uh, we'll also be able to state the meaning of three physiological processes. These are diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. So, be able to state the meaning So we'll be able to state the meaning of those three terms, the term diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. Objective number four, we'll be able to study the factors that affect these three processes, the factors that affect diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. So that is objective number four. Then we go to objective number five. We should also be in a position by the end of the topic to describe some of the experiments that one can carry out to investigate diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. So we should be able to describe experiments to investigate the above processes. And finally, the objective number six, we should be able to distinguish between targa and plasmolysis. Those are two terms that we'll also be learning in the course of the topic and we should be able to distinguish them. So those are the objectives that we shall be fulfilling in the study of the topic cell physiology. So from there, uh, we'll embark on an introduction and we want to understand what is the meaning of the word cell physiology. As the word suggests, it has something to do with the cell and the fact that it ends with a logy, it means that it is a study. So in this case, in cell physiology, we study the cell functions. So in this case, we shall look at the various structures that are found within the cell. 
and how they carry out their functions. So uh, we will say that uh, cell physiology is the study of cell functions. And of course, in a cell, we know that we have different structures. We have the cell membrane, we have the mitochondria, we have the chloroplasts, if it is a plant cell. So we need to understand how those structures function within the cell. So basically, we shall be dealing with cell physiology. Now, uh, a very important uh, aspect of cell physiology that we also need to look at is the structure of cell membrane. We need to look at the structure of the cell membrane because before something gets into the cell or out of the cell, it has to go through the cell membrane. So the cell membrane is a membrane or a layer that is made up of two things. It's made up of something that is called a phospholipid and a protein layer. So it's made of two layers. made of two layers, i.e. phospholipid, I'll explain what is a phospholipid, and a protein. So it's made up of those two layers. A phospholipid is a fat layer. Anything that ends with the word lipid, it means that it's either a fat or an oil layer. Then, of course, the other one is a protein layer. So what we are basically going to do, we are going to have a diagram uh, showing the, the cell membrane and how it looks like. So the cell membrane looks like that. Uh, first of all, there is the first layer, assuming that uh, this is the outside and this is the inside. So this first layer is the phospholipid. Is the phospholipid layer. And then the one that is marked using a different color, uh, that is red. That is the protein layer. So basically we are saying that uh, a cell membrane is made of a phospholipid layer or a fat layer and a protein uh, uh, layer. Now, in between the protein layer, uh, there is a small opening here. And that opening, we, are, we call it the pore. P-O-R-E. It's a hole that allows substances to get inside the cell and also outside the cell. So that opening is meant for that. We shall look at the characteristics of the cell membrane. So this is basically uh, the cell membrane structure, which we have said is made up of two layers. There is a phospholipid layer on either side. Then there is the protein layer in between. There is a protein layer in between. So it doesn't have to be in one position. It can be in a number of positions. But basically, there is the phospholipid layer and there is the protein layer. Then in between the protein layer, there is a pore or there is a hole that allows materials to get in or out of the cell through uh, the cell membrane. And then the other thing that I want us to look at are the properties of the cell membrane. We look at uh, the properties of cell membrane. One, 
we say that the cell membrane is semi permeable the cell membrane has what is called semi permeability and that means that it allows only the small molecules to pass through but not large ones so it's only allowing the small molecules to pass through the pore yeah those if molecules are small enough to fit the pore they can pass through in and out but if the molecules are large they cannot pass so we say that uh, uh, the cell membrane is semi permeable or we can say it's selectively permeable so you can also stroke that with selectively permeable it means the same thing now characteristic number 2 is that the cell membrane is sensitive to temperature and pH. It's sensitive to temperature and pH. And the reason for that is because the protein layer and the lipid layer, they are sensitive. Yeah? If the temperature is too high, then the cell membrane is affected. If the temperature is also too low, it's also affected. Same case applies to the pH. So pH is the degree of acidity or alkalinity. So it's sensitive to temperature and pH. And lastly, number three, the cell membrane is polarized. Polarized means that it has charges. It has charges that are positive and negative. Has charges that are positive and negative. So basically, we have looked at uh, the objectives of the entire topic. We have listed them down. Then we have gone ahead and defined what is cell physiology as the study of cell functions. We have looked at the structure of the cell membrane and we have seen that the cell membrane is made of two layers there is the phospholipid layer and there is the protein layer and then we have also said that uh, in the protein layer there is a pore that allows materials to get in and out then we have looked at the properties three properties of the cell membrane one is its semi permeability or selectively permeable meaning that it is selective it selects the small molecules to go through but not the large ones it's also sensitive to changes in temperature and also ph and finally the cell membrane is polarized that means that it has both positive and negative charges so our lesson for today will end there then we'll have an assignment based on what we have learned So the first question, we define the term cell physiology as we have learned it. Two, we describe the structure of cell membrane, description of that structure. And then number three, we state three properties of cell membrane. So we are going to stop there for today and we shall continue from there next time. Goodbye.